set from the 1200. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, Secret Traveller, one of the first to go. Inter Milan is right there shortly after the start and Travelling Mullins is over on the inside. The big league is among the leading division and they are followed further back by first defence, a couple of lengths off the lead. Sail to Paradise, the black body with the red caps about four lengths off the leader. Then comes Shining Empire. Yuri's Gold gets a reminder to two to get into the race. Mighty Monarchs behind that one. Le Comte is on the inside, then Destined for Dawn. Secret Traveller by two and a half, three lengths. The Big League is back second, then Travelling Mullins. Sail to Paradise is now trying to get into the race. Shining Empire is towards the outside. Then comes Inter Milan. 400 to go, Secret Traveller, the Big League's now putting on the pressure, Sail to Paradise getting into the race as well, and the Big League now takes it up. The Big League gets the front, Sail to Paradise trying to put on the pressure, the Big League is the leader, Sail to Paradise is coming home on, the Big League's digging in deep, the Big League has won it, Sail to Paradise second, Yuri's gold third, Secret Traveller ran fourth. Number 15, the big league is victorious. Keegan DeMella, another one for Mr. Lynn, Mark Dixon, the gelding by Mullins Bay. This morning, this horse was on offer. I think it was 20 to 1 or 25 to 1. When I walked on the track here, they said that there was a lot of money. I don't know how much a lot of money is to shorting it in, but it was certainly at 72 and 4 to 1 earlier in the day, and the big league wins it. So that one by about a neck. Second position to number three, Sail to Paradise. Then Yuri's Gold and further back, Secret Traveller, Destined for Dawn. And then came Shining Empire, Travelling Mullins, Delray Beach, La Comte, Inter Milan. First defence is further back in the field as we look at the head on. And Secret Traveller is the leader. But now the big league comes on well and Sail to Paradise also starts to run at the leader. But the big league continues to plug away. Only second time at the track and they end up winning at about a half length. Number 15 on the tote now showing 410 a win, 170 a place and that race time 70.09. That's all for the time being. This is Craig Peters handing back to the studio. Well, we've just seen the running of race number nine. And for pick six purposes, number 15, the big league has come through to win. And uh, plenty of betting support. Well done to owner Bruce Lynn. He's had a fantastic afternoon winning uh, our feature earlier on with trainer Vaughan Marshall, Chestnut Rocket, and now with trainer Mark Dixon with his four-year-old son of Mullins Bay. Let's have a quick word with uh, trainer Mark Dixon before we go to Keegan. We're just having a quick chat uh, off air, and uh, you gave Bruce all the confidence? Yes, look, I'm, um, I'm so, so happy for Bruce. <clears throat> He's a big supporter of the stable, and it's a long story. I can't go into it now, but this horse... As a young horse, he broke a bone at the back of his knee. And this horse's greatest asset is his owner, mm. Bruce. He, I said to him, forget about him completely. I said, we box rested him for six months. We walked him, we gelled him, we swam him with allergies. And uh, he just wouldn't come sound. And literally, it, take, it took us 18 months for him to come sound. And eventually, we started showing something. I said, well, you know, ideally, I'd love to get your money back <clears throat> for showing your faith in the horse. And, you know, he never once mentioned him and I've, I'm so happy for him I told him we, we, last time you know I know how good London call is mm. and he finished fourth and I knew he got tired that day and he's improved so much for the run I thought well today was an average race and I couldn't re to be honest it's easy to say after the event but 20 to 1 I thought was ridiculous price yes. I said to Bruce now you better take it and let's see if you can get the money back for your faith in the horse and, and he has so it means a lot to me and thanks Bruce Fantastic story, Mark, because with all these problems and everything, it's uh, actually uh, tremendous that the, the great work has been done back home and the owner being uh, repaid and rewarded. 25 to 1, well done to you, Bruce, but compliments to your yard because you had faith in the horse also, Mark. Well, you, you know, you've got to, and, and sometimes, you know, the owners will quite rightly so, you know, it's an expensive game, and they'll say, well, you know, how long are we looking at? And 
if you say <coughs> over one a year, and a half years. yeah, one and a half years, they'll they'll <laughs> so turn around and start laughing at me. Sure, but sure, um, sure. but he doesn't. He, he he puts faith in his trainers. Also, Vaughan, he's got a lot of horses for Vaughan. He had a great day today. Yes. And uh, I'm so happy because no, he never complains. He pays the bills. He takes his time, and for once, you know, he's got his money back, which which makes me very happy. Wonderful man, Bruce Lynn, and I echo yeah, yeah. every one of your comments. But before you leave us, African Dream, I thought, put in a creditable effort this afternoon. No, very happy with that. You know, <clears throat> third in the group race, Dennis's horse won very easily, but no, no disgrace. All the guys came down here from Joburg. They're all here. Yes. They've all had a great day. And no, you know, placed in the group race, can't complain. Nice way to end up the day. Well done. Give yeah, our compliments to, my, uh, to Bruce, a uh, wonderful man. Give our compliments to him. I will. Thanks. Thanks. Lovely. Bruce. Mark Dixon, Keegan DeMello. Now you do uh, a lot of work uh, back home for Mark and various other stables, but Mark in particular supported you throughout your apprenticeship, and obviously you're familiar with the horse's problems, and nice to see him come and win a race. Yeah, definitely, Dees. You know, um, since I saw stepped foot at track, you know, I've, I fell in love with him from the start. You know, he's always been one of my favourites, and I'm just so glad he won today. Now, uh, taking us uh, to the race, how things work out for you? Look, he came out pretty well. Um, last time he was just very green. Very dumb, and today, you know, he knew what to do. And he came out like a true professional. He hit the front way too early for my liking, you know, and, and started looking for company towards the end, but by then he'd done enough. Well, the patience and perseverance by the owner and the stable, and of course, uh, your bit of uh, input back home has certainly paid off. Well done, nice way to end off the, the day at Scottsville. Yeah, thanks, Deej, you know, well, well done to Bruce, you know. <laughs> He's a big supporter of mine. Uh, I love riding for him. And thanks to Mr. Dixon, you know, he never puts me under pressure. The filly today ran a crack over race today as well, so we had a good day today. Well done. Thanks, Dees. Lovely. Keegan DeMello, Bruce Lynn, go and collect the cash, my man. Well done to Bruce Lynn, yeah. Number 15, the big league has come through to win. Provisional result, race number nine, 15, 3, 2, and 1. That is your result, race number nine, bringing a close to our race meeting in Peter Marisburg at Scottsville. A big thank you to Sheldon Peters, race commentator Craig Peters, our uh, men in the OB van, Raymond and the boys, and of course, the ever hardworking cameraman, Zane, in the parade ring. For myself, Dees Dianan, until we meet again, which will be on Wednesday at the Garden Course, Clarewood. Enjoy what's left of the weekend. You've got Sunday to look forward to. Plenty of racing on your world of winners, Teletrack. Take care. Salani Gashle.